Mike Gillette with Triton Nutrition. Well, 31 days ago, you were sitting with me in my kitchen. I was showing you a whole bunch of Triton uh, Nutrition supplements, were, which were basically going to fuel me for the next four weeks. We finished that uh, four-week period up yesterday. That was day 30. Today's actually day 31. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what I was doing training-wise and then give you some of my conclusions concerning the results from the, uh, the supplements themselves. Now, some of the questions I've gotten from the workouts I've done have really been to do with with the equipment like you know what is an Ivanko super grip or you know what, what are wrist lifts on a wrist roller and that sort of thing so I actually brought in a couple pieces just to show you what those are how they look like and if you're interested you can even contact me via the Triton Facebook page and I can uh, set you up with the sources for that gear the first of which you saw me doing a lot of wrist lifts now I use a wrist roller but I don't use it the way that uh, people typically do or you might have some kind of a handle and a cord coming off and you hold it and you roll like that the reason being is you're kind of limited by how much weight you can support. So this particular wrist roller, first it's steel, but you notice that it's hollow. It fits over a piece of pipe which sets in on my power rack so that the weight is completely stabilized and I can stack a weight pin as heavy as I possibly can go. And when I do wrist lifts, I'm not just doing this type of thing down or up. I'm literally just doing wrist curls where the weight is primarily stabilized and I can really focus all of the intensity out of my wrists and forearms. So I can uh, tell you where to get that if you like. An Ivanko Super Gripper, people have asked me, what is that? Well, an Ivanko Super Gripper looks like this. And what's different between this and a conventional uh, steel top uh, gripper that you might get from Iron Mind or something like that is because it has springs and these springs can be set up or down to change the resistance. So one gripper can actually give you quite a bit of uh, variation. And just like a, um, a standard gripper, you can hold it in this position, you can hold it in this position, and then again, I just tension. And it uh, works really well for me, and it's, it's uh, a very comfortable piece. Some people have asked me, how come I do so many front squats? Well, the reason I do front squats is because I really started doing them a lot after I had ruptured uh, my bicep tendon uh, back in 2011. And I really couldn't do a lot uh, with conventional barbells or anything like that because I had a shoulder on down that was completely out of commission. So I got this particular device, and this uh, came from overseas. So if you get it, expect a lot of time for shipping. And it fits over the shoulders. Now you'll see the pegs right here. What these do is you come into a power rack and you scoop the bar up right here. And it basically stabilizes the barbell in a conventional front squat position. Lay your hands over, grab a hold of the bar, and stabilize it, and away you go. And what I found out is that I really like to do front squats. I particularly like the way that they challenge the balance and uh, core stability and so forth. They're very comfortable for me. Uh, if you've read anything about me, you know that I broke my back once upon a time, and back squats aggravate that uh, condition. So I uh, continued my front squats uh, subsequent to that. The weighted hammer. I do a lot of tire hits. I've got a lot of questions about the hammer. Some people have seen the hammer in pictures. This is what it looks like. And if you listen, that sound is because this is hollow. And there is an Allen wrench uh, hole here. And I have actually filled this full of uh, steel shot. You can put sand in it. You can use the, uh, the filings that people use for sand blasting, uh, which is a little smoother. I like this because you can literally hear that weight shift. So when you're swinging it, it makes the uh, exercise pretty, pretty challenging. If you're interested in any of those pieces of gear or any of the other gear that you might see me use on YouTube, go ahead and uh, message me on the Triton Facebook fan page and I can uh, connect you with the sources for that gear. Now, the regimen itself. Been a pretty interesting four weeks and I really distilled the, the three things that I noticed most significantly into three categories and the first one is sleep. Now if you would have said, hey Mike, uh, you're going to take these supplements, it's going to affect your quality of sleep, I would have been very skeptical. I mean, it's not like I'm taking melatonin or anything like that. The sleep quality, I think, has just been a byproduct of my body getting used to being fueled very well. You know, vegetable sources, good protein sources, all of the vitamins and, and minerals that I really wasn't getting because I wasn't taking them as seriously as I have been the last four weeks. But it's been very apparent to me that my sleep quality has improved, uh, and that's been consistent through the four weeks. The next real big area for me has been energy. And I've commented uh, in previous blog posts that, you know, m like most people, energy can be up and down. And it's been very constant for me. And that's been particularly noticeable in my workouts, which generally take place in the evening. I don't usually need to uh, have a shot of coffee or anything like that. I can just get out to the gym and do what I need to do. And, and the workouts have gone very well. And the last uh, real interesting thing is weight. 
this has not been a body transformation type of program. I have uh, eaten lots of uh, calories, a lot of eggs, uh, a lot of meat, and of course, you know, the Triton uh, shakes that we've broken down earlier. And it hasn't really been a situation where I've been looking to cut weight, but here's the thing. I have dropped in four weeks time, eight pounds. You might recall if you've been paying attention, we started at 194. And yesterday I was at 186, I'm at 186 today, so that's a pretty consistent 186 so far. I've been hovering around 187, 186 and a half uh, for a few days. So eight pounds without a lot of concerted effort, I think is pretty significant. And I think, again, that's just a situation where the body is getting everything that it needs and it doesn't need to hang on to anything that it doesn't. So that, that's been kind of an interesting uh, byproduct of all of this. Now. I said in our, our last video blog that I would have a means to kind of test out in, in practical uh, terms how all of this worked out, and I got to do that last night. I had actually started this four-week regimen knowing that last night on the very last day I would have a show. And it was a, about a 60-minute show in which uh, I nailed horseshoes, bent several steel bars, rolled a frying pan, I did some of the other things that uh, I do. And everything went well, everything went smoothly. It's a day after, I'm not having any residual uh, joint soreness or, or difficulty, strained muscles or anything like that. So being able to evaluate the effectiveness on the supplement regimen against something that is a known stress quantity for me, which is doing feats of strength, uh, I think has been a very effective uh, barometer just in terms of getting a sense of how all of that feels. It's been an interesting four weeks. Again, if you haven't uh, had a chance to see everything that I was taking, let us know. We'll get that uh, PDF of the regimen out to you. I appreciate everybody who's asked questions and has uh, been tracking with me uh, all this way and uh, look forward to uh, continued adventures with uh, Triton Nutrition and Extreme Training with Mike Gillette. We'll see you soon.